There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. I seem to recall a town somewhere up north, far, what was it called? That's it. Perseverance Mills. It was like sparks everywhere and then fire. She fought like hell to try and get him out. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. And somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? What's in the case? I have no idea. Don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... Uh... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. <laughs> By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you. My house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh... I I'll be... I'll be okay. Suit yourself. Then let's talk. You said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out... hunting. Came across you in the snow. Buried. You've been out there for hours. Maybe even days. 
Nearly dead. Oh. Well, um... Thank you for finding me. Name's Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. The bird wouldn't shut up. Led me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. You carried me here? Dragged more like, but yeah. You were pretty far gone. Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, all I remember is the tunnel. And wolves. Being chased and then wandering. Forever. Like the world at no end. Yeah. In the woods, in the dark. You can wander for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town, Milton. Other side of the mountains, old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. The whole town. Milton. It's... It's gone. I mean... People are gone. Most of them are. It was a fire and... <laughs> Whoa. It's okay. You're all right now. Don't get too worked up. He nearly died out there. That does funny things to people. Is this your kitchen? By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here? Hours out. This is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. So, the power's been out for a while? Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley, so we're usually prepared for it. Feels like you run this farm on generators for a better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start, or the cars, tractor, the TV's dead, radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from a, from a friend. They were in the crash too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I. I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and... Worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? <laughs> Nothing could break that stubborn skull. But you're worried about him. Yes. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, nobody that sounds like your guy. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. You don't look too good. 
Thank you. I will. And it's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. I mean it. Stay in the house. Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? Uh, that's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. I'm a doctor. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. I need to get to a town up north. Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash thing my friend might have. I need it if I'm gonna help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in a plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here? To Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. So the people up north, in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't gonna tell me what they are. No, I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't gonna tell me what it is either, are you? Right. Well, you are a lady with a lot of secrets. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there. And it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help. But I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and... get on with my work. When you're stronger. So... I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to a... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space, need to think. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Stay out of my shit. Looks like I'm not the only one with secrets. This place.
place. Am I really trapped in here? Looks like maybe the barrel exploded. That looks like Molly from a while ago. Torn from something. Uh, uh hello? Molly? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. They have me surrounded. They're smart sons of bitches. Wait, who has you surrounded? Are you in trouble? Not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. It sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay. Okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower vase. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else, got it? Hello? That you? Molly? Yeah. Look, sorry I bailed on you, but I couldn't take a chance and wait. One of those big bastards broke into the barn. And as luck would have it, I'd left my bow in here last summer, completely forgot. Anyways, took care of that son of a bitch. Molly, I, I was in your basement. Right. So? I, um, I found the body. Molly, who, uh, who was it? Just, it's none of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. Huh. An old flyer for a town meeting of some kind. Looks like the town's not too far from here. If Mackenzie did pass through, he might have ended up there. Oh, hello. Did you come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. Crash site? How did you know about the... The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. 
Don't you remember? Listen, I I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. What is this place? <coughs> this is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? The houses became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? <coughs> yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the road's clear. But will someone come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. At this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back, and we can try to figure out what can be done for them. Let me have a look, okay? <coughs> I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries, or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need, but there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type one diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some, and soon before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty. 
but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. Well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. You keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're brokenhearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I, I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. So, you're still alive. So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You're heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not going to leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? <sighs> doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well... I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure... Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. Oh God, oh God, you're alive. Help me. I'm here, I'm here to help. Make it stop. 
You've been in a crash. You're in shock. But I can help you. Just let me start a fire. Too far gone. You've lost a lot of blood, and you have frostbite. But it's okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm a doctor. I can help you. Please. I want this to be over. Huh. Interesting. I wonder... <sighs> Damn it. Sleep Research Center. Dr. Greenwood speaking. Did you get it? I told you not to call here. I'm sorry, but I'm scared. I am working on it. It's getting worse. We have to do something. I'm going as fast as I can. You said you'd help. You said you had something that could help her. I can't just... Look, it is in a secure area of the lab. I can't just walk out with it. There are security protocols and... Astrid, it's getting worse. You have to do something. You understand that better than anyone. Yes, I do. Find a way and get up here as soon as you can. I, I will. As soon as I can figure out how to... I'll find a way to get it to you. Have you asked Will? No. It's, it's been years since we... I haven't asked him yet. We don't have time for this, Astrid. You need to do this. And soon. I will. I'll fix it. I promise I will get there. I'm afraid it's happening again, Astrid. I'm afraid we'll lose her this time. That's not gonna happen. Hurry, Astrid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you're in pain and you just want it to end, but I won't let you die out here. You know. Don't worry. Hello? Me again. What? How, how did you know I was here? Party line's a funny thing. All the calls go to every phone in the area. All I have to do is wait for you to pick up. Um, what do you want, Molly? I'm, I'm kind of busy. Yeah, I saw you found a survivor at the crash site. You spying on me? Just watching. Curious. Okay, that's kind of creepy. You want to tell me what happened to your man? I don't really have time for this right now, Molly. I'll go first. You asked about my husband when we were in the house. Not much to tell, really. He's dead. I'm alive. Sorry if this sounds harsh, but you don't seem too broken up about it. I'm not. I assume he's the one in the basement. Did you kill him? You tell me. Is failing to help someone the same as killing them? I guess that depends on the circumstances. And the intent. <laughs> now you sound like a lawyer. Did you kill him? The wolves killed him. But my intent was for him to die. Won't let you fall. <laughs> no way around this.
<laughs> Let me have a look, okay? Feeling better now? <coughs> you made it. I prayed that you would. Yes, I made it. And I found another survivor. In bad shape, though. Found the insulin, too. Thank you, my child. This is a big help. Weather's turning worse. I fear another blizzard is on the way. How can you tell? The farmers of Pleasant Valley have been part of my flock for years now. Over that time, you start to see the patterns of things. Blizzards are common this time of year. We're due for another one any day now. And then what? Normally we'd hunker down with a stack of firewood, a full pantry, and wait it out. And now? Even with what you've done, we'll have to pray we survive long enough for the weather to clear. Prayer is your thing, Father. You handle that. Between the plane crash and the houses in the area, I'm gonna pull together whatever supplies I can find. Maybe, between the two of us, we can keep these people alive. May God watch over you, my child. <sighs> Just have to get some rest now. You need it. Up we go. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. That's not the wind howling. Easy does it. I'm right here. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you for your efforts. You have likely saved the lives of all these people. They now have a fighting chance to last through this storm. You have done God's work here, and he will forever look favorably upon you. Thank you, Father. Do you think while looking favorably on me, he could also help me find a way out of here? As I said, the usual paths are blocked. But the blizzard, 
It may have displaced enough snow to... To what? There is another route. It's a dangerous one. Through the mountains. I'll take my chances. I really need to get to Perseverance Mills. If things are this bad here, they'll be worse. Look, I just need to get there. Can you help me? An entrance to the old coal mine. If the blizzard moved enough snow, you might be able to get in there. It passes through the mountain. After that, you'll find the highway. It follows the coastline. Follow the highway and, God willing, you'll get to Perseverance Mills. Here, I'll draw it on your map for you. Thank you, Father. My thanks to you, my child. And if you'll permit an old priest an indulgence, I'd like to share some wisdom with you. Go ahead, Father. Your burden. I see it weighs heavily on you. I, I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You do not have to carry it alone. Look, thank you, Father. But religion isn't really... I don't say this as an attempt to sway your thinking or help you find faith. But find something, someone, to help with your burden. Otherwise it will consume you. Look around you, Father. I think the Lord may have his hands full right now. Whatever burdens I may have, they're mine to bear. And mine alone. However crowded his table, there is always a seat for you, my child. I'll keep it in mind, Father. Here, you should take this back. Keep it, my child. I fear you will have need of it before this long winter is done. Hello, Molly. Wow. I hate to be a foregone conclusion. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? <coughs> would they have done the same for you? I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people, delivering babies or researching or whatever it is you do. Does anyone really notice? I I'm not sure, but I don't do it for that. You don't do it for recognition because you don't get any. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. Something more than a cattleman's daughter. I'm sure you could have, Molly. Don't patronize me. I could have been something, but I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? <coughs> you wouldn't understand. Did he hurt you? Did you kill him? There's different ways to hurt people. Some ways heal. Other ways never do. And I told you. The wolves killed them. <sighs> Never mind that. I called to tell you something. What did you call to tell me, Molly? There's an old radio tower. On the top of the hill, overlooking my farm, you can see the tower from my porch. Not sure if you can get it working, but the radio up there would be good enough to reach Perseverance Mills. You could maybe find out about your guy. The precious mystery thing that you hope he has. A radio? But why, why'd you wait so long to tell me? And, also, the girl gets lonely out here, I guess. It was nice to have someone to talk to. Yep, the 
Radio's sure dead. Well, that trip was a waste. I should get some shut-eye and strike off for the mine Father Tom mentioned in the morning. It's time to say bye to Pleasant Valley. Radio. It's working. Damn. Why can't I get anything? Come in. This is Perseverance News. Hello? Come in. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Can you hear me? We need help. There's some kind of quarantine situation. Hello? Kenzie. What do you mean quarantine? Mackenzie, is that you? Is there a doctor with you? We need a doctor. Or medical Shit. assistance. Anything. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. We're cut off! <sighs> You're alive. Damn it, Mackenzie. <sighs> You're alive. And on your way to Perseverance Mills. I've got to get there. Electricity must be reacting to the lights in the sky. What is it, Molly? We have a lot in common, you and I. How's that? We both left our men behind. We both like to be alone. We're both hiding from our pasts. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I didn't kill him, you know. I wanted to. So many times. I just never had the courage. And as bad as it got at times, at least I wouldn't be alone. Being alone would be worse. That's what I told myself. I don't judge you, Molly. I didn't kill him, but I may as well have. I watched while the wolves surrounded him. I knew what was coming. I had a rifle in my hands. I could have helped him. It all happened in slow motion, you know, like a ballet. They were so quiet and confident, like there was no other way it could end. And I just stood there, frozen. He was yelling at me to shoot, but I couldn't. They circled. And then they were on him, like a force of nature. Molly, why are you telling me this? Because it's important for someone to know. For someone to know what? That I don't regret it. Not for a second. The convict, outside with the arrows in his back. That your handiwork too? Yep. They're all gonna pay now, Astrid. Who are? All of them. We've been in the background. In the shadows, invisible, overlooked for too long. Uh-uh, not anymore. I'm not sure revenge is the answer, Molly. <laughs> Maybe not, but it'll do for now. <sighs> Feels good to be on this side of the hunt. So I'm making up for lost time. Take care of yourself, Doctor. You too, Molly. Tell me one last thing pilot. The one you left behind? He one of the good ones? Yes, he is. But things are complicated between us. Let's just say I wouldn't want to find him with an arrow in his pack. Then I hope to never meet him. It's been good talking with you, Astrid. For a little while, you took the loneliness away. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you can help those people up in Perseverance Mills and find some peace for yourself. Thank you, Molly. I hope you can find some peace, too.
It's changing. It has changed. The aurora, the weather, the wildlife. It somehow feels like Mother Nature is crying out. Maybe she's warning us of what's to come. People like Molly or Father Tom or the crash survivors. They're just the ones left behind. Damaged people. The hopeful and the hopeless. What will this new world do to them? Will it make them harder? Will it break them? I'm not sure I can help them. And I don't know what I'll find when I get to where I'm going. What I do know is this. Mackenzie is alive, and he's heading to Perseverance Mills. And that means I have to get there before it's too late. I may not be able to stop this darkness from coming, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let it happen without a fight. <laughs> 